I always wanted to know this. I'd ask everybody. But they didn't know. It went, went into the murky past and it was gone. Actor Ed O'Neill has an unlikely hero hidden in the branches of his family tree. The story begins with his third great grandparents, Bridget and James Tyrrell. Bridget and James were Irish immigrants living in Ohio when the Civil War erupted. They soon saw two of their sons join the Union Army and end up hospitalized. Ed wondered how the couple must have felt waiting at home, knowing that their sons were suffering. But as it turns out, Bridget wasn't at home at all. Bridget was serving in the Union Army herself as a nurse. I would love to have been a fly on the wall when she decided to go. Yeah. And say, where are you going? Right. <laughs> yeah. You were doing what? You're not doing that. How are you getting there? <laughs> yeah. You're going through the yeah. war places. That's right. Unbelievable. Bridget tended to the wounded in what was known as Brown Hospital in Louisville, Kentucky. There's no evidence that she had any medical training at all. But that likely didn't matter. As reports suggest, the hospital was desperate for whatever help it could get. Brown Hospital has received most of the patients from the Army. This hospital is entirely too much crowded for its capacity and number of surgeons and nurses. The patients have not been able to receive the attention they should. That's where she worked. Oh my God. At the hospital where Bridget what is worked. That? That's it. Oh my God. It's it just, was it's like a shack. That is it's Brown. It's an elongated shack. That is Brown Hospital, man. Oh my God. It doesn't you imagine like how. It's any hospital I ever saw. Imagine how it smelled. Just to like start with that. God. She probably watched a lot of men die. Oh, yeah. Every day. Yeah. Big time. I would love to have known her. Yeah. She had grit, man. Oh, yeah. I want to show you something else. Please turn the page. This is amazing. Fast forward to the year 1897. This is Bridget's obituary. During the late war, Mrs. Tyrrell had two sons and 15 nephews in the Northern Army. <laughs> and made several trips to the southern battlefields to administer to their wants. Many a dying soldier blessed her for her kindness and care with their last breath. So that was sort of what I thought- Absolutely. Was a big part of her job. Yeah. It would be. It was holding people's hands who were staring into the terror of oh death. Oh God. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's, that's moving. I don't know what she was like to live with, but she was great. <laughs> she, she performed nobly. And according to her obituary, Bridget made several trips to care for yes, her family yes. during the war. What's it like to see that, man? When would you say to your husband, I'm going back down you know, <laughs> yeah. for another yeah, a tour. tour? Yeah. And I'm going again. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Several means at least three. Yeah. Right? There you go. Oh, that's just incredible. It is. Boy. I'm glad I came here today. <laughs> <laughs> Discovering our ancestors can change our lives, helping us to understand more fully who we are, where we came from, and how we're all connected to a much larger world. To see more incredible family history stories, click here. And thank you for watching.